All right, gentlemen, today I've got Jeremy Fragrance, and we're gonna be talking about the importance of wearing uniform. We actually started talking about this. We were in your car, and yep. we were talking about the importance of looking good, having a go-to uniform, and you've developed a uniform, right? Yeah, I always wear a suit. I always wear a dark gray suit or a dark blue suit. And with that, always a white shirt, and in most cases, a dark red or a gray tie. And a lot of people, they're gonna say, you know, okay, you, you know your uniform, you know the details here, but doesn't that get boring? Doesn't that get like, oh, you know, it's like, I wanna have a lot of fun, I mm -hmm. should be able to wear whatever I want. Yeah. Why do you wear this uniform? I mean, does it, doesn't it constrict you? It has two, two nice things about it. First of all, people recognize me more and more. I'm building a brand, I'm the guy in the suit. People recognize me easier, faster in the streets because they constantly know me in this. So it's like a corporate identity, just like a trademark from a brand. I'm always the suit guy. People recognize me faster. And of course, it saves time. Mm -hmm. I'm not so extreme like a Steve Jobs or a Mark Zuckerberg, who only wear really one outfit, and yeah. that's it. Or Tom Ford also wears his black suit with a white shirt, and that's it. But it definitely saves time. You go off on the streets, mm -hmm. and you're stopping people, asking them to smell something yeah. on you. I mean, I think- 100%, they recognize yeah. me better with that. Or than, they're more likely to trust you because yes. a guy in a suit is not going to be assaulting me because you're talking to women correct, oftentimes. Correct, correct. And they're like, oh, I will give him two seconds yeah. versus a t-shirt and jeans guy. You yes. may get half a second, if that. It always is like a pre-selection because people think, uh-huh, let me see, okay, if he has this high quality of a suit, it possibly means he has some type of established life. He has something going on because otherwise he couldn't wear yeah. such a suit, of course. Do you find that actually like this uniform, it also suits like the brand that you're building up? I mean, your fragrance base, yeah. everything is about smell. But, you know, it's, smell is just one of the many of the five senses. Mm -hmm. And so with the visual, does it match, do you feel, to the brand you're building up? For me, yes, because I always loved going to the top, being the number one, this type of direction. And for me, number one means wearing very professional business suit type of setting. So in your mind, success in your industry, yes. you are already dressing. Like if you reach Correct. the pinnacle of success, yes. your uniform will not change much. No. I have always felt that whoever I'm going to, like that achievement that I'm going to get whenever I reach where I'm going, like, I, in many ways, I've already become that person, and I daily practice wearing this uniform, wearing, I mean, for me, I've talked about this, it's navy, uh, mm. dark colored shirts yeah. with dark jeans, with yeah, boots, nice. I'll throw on, I've got a sports jacket, it's just hot in this room, I didn't want to yeah. actually <laughs> yeah. wear, a, uh, wear yeah. a jacket here. But for me, this is my travel uniform. Yes. It actually works with a wide variety of items in my wardrobe, my interchangeable wardrobe where items work in and out. And I mean, for you, you've got simple, you go with light colored shirts, your yeah. ties can work with all of your different suits yes correct I mean, saves time changeable yeah and you know the the colors they project a certain type of thing like red projects something blue projects something it's different than orange mm -hmm. it's different than a green for me a person that appears to be confident or always wanted to be confident it's more helpful in my eyes to dress in these type of colors or this charcoal gray mm -hmm than in a pink shirt. So with your uniform, do you have a uniform set? Like assuming that like you had to like mm -hmm. just, you're traveling yeah. and you're going to be traveling, let's say for a month in the United States, you can't take a whole no. case. So what are going to be your uniform sets? Okay. Well, that's of course a heavy question since I'm a fragrance guy. <laughs> I can, I always have to see, okay, do I travel to Ibiza? It will be an island setting. What type of clothes will I wear? Where? So the first thing you do <laughs> is you actually examine and you of look course. at where you're going. So yeah. this is something the same with your uniform. You look at, hey, sure. what's the purpose? Where am I going? You look at the weather, you look sure. at what's your mission. I mean, when you were just over in Southern Spain, yeah. you went there for vacation. Yes. You, you were wanting to Dressed relax. Dressed casual. So, I'm not going to wear a very oriental sweet tobacco fragrance in the high summer heat to a beach party. To wrap things up, guys, that's the key with the uniform. Know where you're going. Know what you want to achieve. Understand what your mission is, what message you want to send. And then make sure that your clothing, that your fragrance, that your grooming, everything sends the message you want to send. That's it, guys. I'm going to be linking to Jeremy's channel down in the description. 
Go check it out if you want to learn anything about fragrance. And thank you for sharing that bit about your uniform. Thanks, Antonio. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very man. much. Right. Bye, guys. Take care, guys.